Okay, so it is Wednesday, July 8th, 2020, and here is my update on my garden. Here we have some clover sprouts, my hypostas, who's getting really big. These are white strawberry plants. They're still growing, still pushing up. This is a cluster of forget-me-nots, forget-me-not flowers. And down here in the shade, some more clover. They just made their way in there because I recycled the water from the other plant. This <laughs> is my hollyhock, which is huge and grown so much. Here I have some jasmine. Not the jasmine to use for tea, the other jasmine, the ground cover. I have a few old, maybe not alive anymore, neem trees. Here we have some edible flowers in the back. Then down here, I have a weed. This weed came with my dragon fruit that is out front. So I'm just seeing if I could grow it, seeing if it's a dandelion. <laughs> Um, some clippings of hypostas that I have in this um, jar of water. I'm trying to propagate them so I could make more baby hypostases. Also, when I clipped the old hypostas, I didn't want to waste all the, the trimmings. So, we decided I'll make just some more baby new ones. They're sitting right next to a clipping from the jasmine above and some this is a sweet potato, some pieces of sweet potato. They're called slips. So what I've done is I've set the sweet potato in a jar of water and I let them grow the slips. And once the slips are about maybe six inches, I take the slip off, put in water, propagate it so that there's some roots if you can see them. Then I bring them over here I put them in this pot or over here in these little pots. I'm growing some sweet potatoes from those little slips. Over here we have little tiny bok choy sprouts and one single edamame that's not doing very well because I put sand on top of it. It was an experiment because I was trying to see if I could get rid of the fungus gnats with sand. Instead it just made the soil more acidic. So I've tried putting some calcium in there to see if I can balance out the pH. Over here we have three baby papaya trees. I need to find a better place for them. The problem is they can't be in complete sun because the leaves will fry in direct sunlight so they have to be in shady or speckled sun all day long. Over here I have my carrot. Actually I have two carrots. One I'm propagating from a carrot piece, a carrot end, which is growing pretty well. And then this one I grew from seed. It came from upstairs. So the cool thing about carrots is when you take them out of the ground, they're still alive. So if you want to, you could just put it back in the ground and wait until they seed. Which is what I'm trying to do with this one. I'm trying to get it to seed. Because I would like more carrots from this plant. And over here we have some little artichoke that I'm trying to sprout and I don't know what's in the, the little black spot, the little black pot. That plant, I have no idea what it was and I don't think it's doing very well. It was probably the same one as this plant, which I have no idea what that plant is either. Then I've taken some, some green onions from the store. I've cut about one to three inches 
from the roots up and I've planted them in my pot so as they grow I can snip them and eat them. I have one back here one squash I think it's a summer squash I'm not sure and another one over here starting to get flowers next to my two lettuce plants there's actually a third lettuce plant down there but he's kinda he's fallen out of the the pot I've got some more green onions some baby kales I'm trying to see how the kales are doing and then back there a few arugulas and another squash it's not doing too well hopefully you can see it better from here and then my big lemon balm that is actually having flowers right now I already harvested some lemon balm leaves and dried them and gave them to my friend so now I'm just letting them flower and go to seed and I think that is it my garden June 8th Wednesday year 2020 here are my two philodendrons I got from my grandma's house they're growing nicely here's the orchid that I repotted trimmed back because there were no more flowers took off a leaf that was dying that had turned yellow was done and then it started growing back this leaf this is completely new growth and I've got its roots here. Okay, that's it. My hallway garden. Over here we have my garden in the front. I have no idea what that guy is. He came with our house. This Christmas poinsettia. Right now its leaves are green. And later on in the year I believe it'll, they'll turn red. Here's some little succulents that have grown super big that my mom got from her friend I'm trying in this big pot to grow some turmeric turmeric root but actually right here because it's not growing I'm just using the pot to grow little baby bok choys over here we have my newest dragon fruit baby and then my oldest dragon fruit baby I got it when it looked like that and I got this one when it looked like that over here I have some cilantro it's trying to grow some potatoes and here and then over here I'm trying to grow from seed some cranberry seeds but they're not sprouting so I just decided to go online and buy a baby cranberry plant which actually came with all these seeds that I have no idea what they are but I may end up transplanting them then over here I have some more potatoes my third set of potatoes that I'm growing hidden under my my basil basil likes to lean over and get on top of everybody and then down here I'm growing some ginger ginger roots here and here this is one this is another one some more bok choy sprouts two gigantic leeks that I cut just like my green onions right here that's where I cut them and I have some little red lettuce I think they're heirloom and organic 
And that is it. My front garden. June 2020.